Today, a popular extreme sport has transformed into a medium of art in Traverse City. 7 and 4's Alyssa Heron is live at the Denos Museum right now to show us how you can explore skateboard art and culture. Good morning, Alyssa. Good morning, Brennan and Melissa. Joining me now is Jason Day, Curator of Education here at the Denos Museum. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Of course, and you guys have a pretty cool exhibition that just kicked off, so kind of describe what it's all about. Sure. Uh, we just opened up on May 31st and it is Sideways Exploring Skateboard Art and Culture. And just like the subtitle says, we're exploring what it means to be a skateboarder and how the visual art uh, impacts that. Okay, and behind us now is one of the featured artists that is here and you have four of these. So kind of describe what we're seeing behind us right now. Sure. Uh, behind us is a mural by the artist Yoon Hyup. Uh, he is a Korean uh, artist based in New York City. Uh, he visited over the course of uh, four or five days uh, to paint this mural. Um, and it actually represents the tray flip, which is a trick that he was trying to learn when he first became a skateboarder. Uh, so it's kind of a nice connection for him. All right, and in this next room that we're looking at right now, we have a photographer. Uh, Mike Blayback. So if you know anything about skateboarding or if you've ever looked at a skateboarding magazine, there's a good chance you've seen something by Mike Blayback. Uh, he also happens to be originally from Michigan, so it's kind of nice to have him uh, back in his home state. He travels the world uh, anywhere from China to Fiji, uh, uh, jumping the Great Wall. He, he catches the skateboarders kind of doing what they do best. Okay, and then against this far wall we have a graphic designer with some pretty cool pieces of art. Yes, that is the work from uh, Aaron Draplin, who actually is a graduate of Northwestern Michigan College and originally from this area. He now operates Draplin Design Company out in Portland, Oregon, uh, and he'll be here uh, next week on Friday to give a talk all about his uh, life and work. Okay, and then the last artist we have against this wall, really quick, is? Jason Abraham Smith. He's a Detroit-based artist who does uh, gig posters and other things for bands. Okay, and so coming up next weekend, I want you to tell me about some of those events that are going on. Sure, after Aaron Draplin's talk on the 19th, we also have a big uh, park jam. So it's the Traverse City Park Jam on Saturday. Uh, that'll happen all day here at the museum and across the street at the skate uh, park at Civic Center. Um, and it'll, it'll be free and open to the public. Uh, we'll have uh, contests and games. Uh, Ron Allen, who is a pro skater, will be on hand to judge the boards and award some prizes as well as do some skating and performing as uh, MC Intelligence. And then it all closes down Saturday night with the uh, Park Jam After Party, which is a ticketed event for 21 and up, uh, featuring Star Cut Ciders and food. Um, and uh, their tickets are available online. Okay, and that's all for a very special auction that's going on as well, and that includes some of these skateboards. But we'll get to that in sure. a little bit. But how many are there really quick? There are 73 skateboards. And they're all from local artists besides one from Seattle, correct? Right. Yeah. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us. And all of this information and more will be on our website at upnorthlive.com. Reporting live in Traverse City, Alyssa Heron, 7 and 4 News. What a fun and unique exhibit. And mm -hmm. that's what's so great about the Donos Museum in Traverse City. You get these changing exhibits in there all the time. Mm -hmm. There's always something different. And it's just such a fun experience, especially for the whole family. Plus, I'm here live at the Denos Art Museum in Traverse City. Coming up, we'll share how local artists painted these skateboard decks, and they're all being auctioned off for a good cause. You're watching 7 and 4 News Today. Sure. Good morning, Alyssa. Good morning, Brennan and Melissa. Joining me again is Jason Day, Curator of Education here at the Denos. Thanks so much for joining us again. Um, and this time, we have several skateboard decks that are decorated by local artists. So kind of describe how that process got started. Sure. Uh, in March, we put out a call for artists, and we had uh, a really good call back. We, we have 73 boards here in the, in the gallery, uh, and there are lots of different designs, lots of different materials, everything from painting to collage to fabric. Um, to even sculpture or carving, uh, really a, a wide array of things that came back to us. Really exciting to see that. And then uh, they're also all going to be auctions uh, next weekend. Okay, and all for a good cause. Yes, we partnered uh, with our skateboard programming. We wanted to find a partner in the community that was familiar with skateboarding and also teens. Uh, so we actually are partnering with Third Level uh, Crisis Intervention Center uh, for the Park Jam next weekend. Uh, and as part of the Park Jam, we'll also be doing the silent auction. So uh, the, the monies that come in from that will support Denos programs as well as Third Level. Okay, and I'm going to take a step back for a second. Just kind of describe the exhibition to me and some of the local or some of the artists that you're bringing in for it. 
Sure. Alongside the uh, 73 skateboards, we invited four artists. We have Aaron Draplin, who is actually an NMC graduate and now a, a successful graphic designer. Uh, we have Jason Smith, who's an artist based in Detroit. Uh, we have Yoon Hyup, who painted a mural for us. He is a Korean artist uh, based in New York City. And then we also have photography from Mike Blayback, who is a well-known photographer in the skateboard industry. Okay, um, so there are several events taking place next week, like you were describing, all for this exhibition. So kind of um, give me a little bit more detail about those when they're taking place and who can come out. Sure. The auction will kick off uh, on Friday and close on Sunday. Uh, Friday night, we have Aaron Draplin presenting his Tall Tales from a Large Man, which will be a great presentation about his, cult, uh, his career as a graphic designer. Uh, and Saturday during the day is the Traverse City Park Jam, both here at the museum and across the street at the Civic Center Skate Park. And then closing out the evening on Saturday night is a ticketed event. It's the Park Jam After Party, uh, which will feature uh, some good food and star cut ciders. Okay, and also um, a pro skateboarder is coming to town. Yes, we have pro skater Ron Allen. He's going to be our guest of honor judging the skateboards as well as uh, performing. Okay, and then Sunday, people can bring their skateboards out to the park and... Yeah, Sunday is Go Skateboarding Day, so everybody is welcome to come back to the skate park and uh, hit it up for some skating. All right, well, thanks so much for joining us, and once again, we'll put all of this information and more on our website at upnorthlive.com. Reporting live in Traverse City, Alyssa Heron, 7 and 4 News. And I said earlier, too, Dennis Museum has so many great exhibits that are coming mm -hmm. and going there. It's a great uh, place to bring the family. Something like this, too, the kids will love, you know, oh, exploring bet, yeah. skateboard, art, and culture. And it's perfect location because you have the skateboard park right across the street That's a good in Traverse point. City. So yeah. a good combination there for sure. And now kids are out of school. Some, exactly. Some are. So, yeah, a good thing to, to check out.